Hey everybody, DSR here with another custom Gundam review. This time I have my uh, Gundam Astrea custom, once again for the Gundam Eclipse Forums uh, Summer War Contest. And this kit was built using uh, the Astrea Gundam, the Exia R2 kit, and uh, little some little pieces from uh, the Exia Avalanche type. Also, I used some weapons from or pieces from for the weapons from a uh, Car Caridum Gundam, Astraea Gundam, and from the Zabanya Gundam. So, uh, as you can kind of see, from my phone's ringing. Uh, as you can see from this shot right here, this is the last picture I took. So it's not in its basic form right now. It is in its. Uh, advanced, not really advanced mode, but it's four-armed mode. So it, uh, let's see, let's spin it around here real quick. As you can see, around the drive I have the piece from, uh, the Avalanche Exia, which has the pegs on the sides. Uh, normally it has these guys for the beam sabers, but I ha this version of him uses four or two extra arms without any kind of shoulder armor, so the biceps are just kind of open right in here. Uh, he has two GN drives. The little backstory I'm planning on writing up for him uh, explains that they're not real drives; they're uh, tau type drives, so they do put off red particles. Um, see what else. Uh, let's check out the weapons real quick. Uh, see, this is from the Zabanya Gundam. I took off the blade on the bottom and replaced it with a beam saber handle and glued that on there and painted it all back into gray coloring. So it does hold a beam saber for jabbing or slashing. It still has the scope that slides up, except for the paint is rough on it right now, or a little bit too much on there, so it's being a pain. So it does slide up and down somewhat. Uh, this is the other one. I folded up the handle for some reason, and it's exactly the same. So there's both of those. Uh, and this is his GN long rifle, made from an Australia blaster, and the barrel from a uh, Caridum rifle, and then the end of the barrel from, I'm pretty sure it was from the Australia rifle. And once again, another beam saber down here, beam saber handle. So, can attach a beam saber, just like that. Once again, for stabbing or for slashing, like some of the pictures that I took show off. Oops, we'll move these off to the side for now. As you can see, the colors I used for it are black, uh, chrome, a little bit of white and on uh, the missiles and on the GN drives, chrome on the hands, uh, all on the inside parts, the ch uh, clear cherry red, uh, which is a tam which is the Tamiya clear red, just the regular kind, over the silver paint, uh, over let's see what is it, over a Krylon metallic silver paint which is really good. Uh, that's what all of these silver parts are. Let me show you the hand. Look at this. It'll focus. You see how much detail comes out of these hands? This is just a regular old Exia hand. And all of this detail is molded in there. And with that silver, it just pops right out. You don't really have to look for it even. So, that's it for the colors. Uh, let's pop the beam sabers out. Beam saber handles are also black and can attach either on the sides of his back skirt here or, like I was going to show in a second, uh, back onto the pieces from the Avalanche Exia. And these arms default mode, as I have in one of my pictures, I'm not going to get them exactly into the mode because I don't have hours to spend on the camera. Uh, it's somewhat like this. It's just got the fists right over the shoulder armor, like so. 
uh, you can kind of get an idea of the drives are a little bit offset but they are both pretty much lined up uh, let's see let's go ahead and pop these guys off uh, th I showed more with these arms in some of the pictures so oops and his head is very loose uh, and it broke on multiple occasions uh, and it's loose in the back it's not closed all the way uh, be careful with Astraea Gundam heads don't pull them off up because for some reason it tends to crack the back of this I've never had that problem with any other type of Gundam head it might just be the joints because it's harder plastic and it snapped it, I'm not sure. But it happened to both of my Australia Gundam's heads. So I guess I learned from that. I thought it was a bad mold, but it happened twice, so I don't know. Anyway, moving on, he's got uh, these uh, GN boosters on the backs of his knees. He's got his two drives, and instead of having the little arm booster on both sides from the Avalanche Exia, uh, I've made this one's purpose uh, a GN shield generator. So kind of like the Sedal suit, how it uh, couldn't bring up a full shield to cover the entire Gundam. Uh, he can just focus a shield right in front of wherever he needs on the Sedal suit, but on this, he can only project a GN shield about this big in front of his arm. So I mean he has to be pointing where he needs to block from, but if it's, you know, not something like an enormous beam or something, he can probably block it. So it's not it's kind of instead of a shield, it's just like a like oh it you know, uh not expected from enemy fighters, you know. As you don't expect someone to put their hand out and just, you know, you're attacks your missiles to just disappear and it can also block uh, beam savers so I, I don't have an effect part to show that there's you know a red GN shield there but just use your imagination for me please <laughs> uh, anyway two GN missiles on both of the arms uh, in place of GN strips because you know, the, the shoulder armor doesn't have spots for them and well that's creepy Doors closing, and there it goes. That was the wind. That's no, no one's in my garage. <laughs> I kicked everyone out so I could record this. But anyway, let's. And I left this unglued on purpose so that I could remove it for these purposes. Oops, and it just split a little bit. That's not good. I'll have to re-glue that. That looks like I'm about running out of time, and it's hot out here. So I'm gonna finish up by going in reverse and showing you his simplified mode if I have time I think I will so my Astraea custom just in his basic form you can either use his rifle oops, let's put him down here or one of these not two at once though with this form so this is my Astraea custom and thanks for watching.